welcome back to Mended with Gold. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about relationships. <laughs> but the question is, which relationship? Which relationships are we talking about? I know you guys probably think that we're talking about um, the dating stuff and the courting and everything. <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint you, but no, we are not. We are talking about like your relationship with God. <laughs> so I'm going to jump straight into it. So, uh, the first thing I did was to look up the definition of a relationship in the dictionary and the dictionary gave me this um, definition. The way in which two or more people or things are connected. So, it's obvious that a relationship involves two, part is two parties or two people. So, um, also, the obvious thing is these people will be looking to connect. So, um, what are the things um, that people do when they want to connect? The first and important thing is communication. People communicate when they want to connect, you know, and that forms a relationship. So, um, when it comes to your relationship with God, um, the first important thing is communication and when we talk about communication communication is a two-way thing it doesn't just involve one person talking to the other person it involves both people talking and listening to each other that's what communication is all about so um, the first thing that's important when you want to develop your relationship with God or strengthen it is um, reading the Word of God you know the Word of God is the words the stories and everything that God wants us to know about himself and about what he does and what he did before and what he can do in in the world in heaven through us through other people so it's very important to read the Word of God um, John 1 1 says that in the beginning there was the word and the word was with God and the word was God so the word is God and it's so important that you read the word of God you know on a daily basis you read it um, more than you read your boyfriend's messages more than you know <laughs> you call your boyfriend and listen to him it's so important because I believe that you know God is the one who actually teaches us how to love the next person so if you get to know God more it's an, it's an advantage for you so that's the first thing so when you um, continuously read the Word of God the Bible then goes on to say that um, faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God so when you continuously hear the Word of God like when you're reading it and you're hearing it or you hear it from other people and stuff like that you 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 actually improve your faith and what is faith faith is believing in God it's like it helps you to trust God more and we all know that trust is so important in a relationship and if you're in a relationship where someone doesn't trust you that relationship most probably will never last and the Bible even goes on to say in Hebrews 11 6 that without faith it is impossible to please God so if you don't read the word you will never have faith in God and if you don't have faith in God you cannot please him but if you read the word of God, you will develop faith in him, you will trust him. And when you have faith in God, you begin to please God. Isn't that amazing? Who wouldn't want to please God? You know, so it's very important to read the word of God when you want your relationship to grow, you know, your relationship with God. Yes. 
So that's it on um, reading the word of God. The second thing is prayer. You know, praying is very important because after reading the word of God, getting to know God, God would also want to know you. God would also want to know how you feel about everything. God would also want to know to hear you. Of course, God already knows you, but it's very important that you speak. You bring, like you produce words because, you know, even if you've been married for 10 years, and your husband knows everything about you it's still important that you tell them you speak to them you know you keep that communication going because if you don't they'll just assume maybe you no longer love them or there's something wrong so communic praying is very important because that's when you actually go to god talk to him it's not only about asking God for things, but you go to God, you talk to Him, you ask Him for whatever you feel you want to ask Him. Um, you uh, ask Him questions about a lot of things, you know. The Bible encourages us um, in 1 Thessalonians 5.17 that we pray without ceasing because prayer is so important, you know. Um, Philippians um, 4 verse 6 actually tells us that whenever we worry about anything or we are anxious about anything it says that do not be anxious about anything but everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to God so it's very important that you always speak to God wherever you are any chance you get speak to God even before you um, even text that guy and call that guy or whoever it is make it a habit to speak to god more than you actually speak to other people so that um you know in speaking to god god will actually teach you a lot of things as i said before god is the one who teaches us how to communicate with others and how to have good relationships with others so prayer is so important jeremiah 33 3 says call unto me and i will answer you and i will show you um great and unsearchable things you do not know about god says that if you call to call unto him through prayer he will actually answer you if there's anything you're worried about anything you're not sure about you just need to pray and ask god about it and he will answer you so prayer is so important you know it develops your relationship with god and the more you pray the more your relationship with god grows as you are getting to know him you'll be also speaking to him and he'll be listening to you giving you answers so it's so important um you know and even when we, we are praying like worship is a part of prayer and worship is a form of appreciating you'll be like appreciating god for everything that he is and everything that he does for us and appreciation we all know that if you're in a relationship where someone doesn't appreciate you at all and doesn't show any form of appreciation of you that relationship wouldn't be good and appreciation is so important it's important for us as people to appreciate each other so it's also important for you to appreciate god you know so prayer also involves worship you know which is a good thing you know and it builds your relationship with God more and more then the last thing that I saw to be important when you want to improve your relationship with God or you want to actually build one and all of those things it's fellowship it is so important to fellowship with other fellow believers because it encourages you a lot it brings encouragement like when you're hearing other people's testimonies it uh, brings accountability um, and you can actually like have other people pray for you we need other people you know everyone needs someone you need other people for support on your own sometimes it's not easy and you need other people you know the bible says in 1 john 1 7 but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of jesus his son purifies us from all sins hebrews 10 verse 24 to 25 then also goes to say and let us consider how we may spare one another on one another on towards love and good deeds not giving up meeting together as some 
are in the habit of doing but encouraging one another and all the more as you see the days approaching you know so it's important to fellowship with others because it helps you know fellowshipping by going to church um attending bible study meetings going for prayer meetings it's so important because it encourages you as you hear other believers talk about what they've been through with god and their testimonies it's so encouraging just like hebrews 10 24 to 25 says that it encourages like you'll be encouraging one another it's so encouraging and it's just important because it helps you to grow to have you know when you see what god is doing for other people you have this um it pushes you to also want to see what god will do for you and then you go straight into seeking god more and then that strengthens your relationship with god and the Bible also says that in James 5, 16, Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The Bible actually encourages us to confess our sins to each other because we need, sometimes we need other people to lay their hands on us. You know, God uses other people for deliverance sometimes. Yes, you can be delivered alone when you're praying and God just delivers you in your room. But most times, God uses other people to deliver you. God uses other people to even, like sometimes your breakthrough is in other people. And the more you fellowship with people, the more people pray for you and everything. And you see God doing things through other people. It actually helps your relationship with God to grow. So those are the three things that I think are very important when you want to develop a relationship with God or you want to strengthen your relationship with God. So um, that was basically the relationship advice that I have for you today. Thank you so much for clicking, even though I know you thought I was going to talk about, you know, a man, a man woman like the relationship between a man and a woman <laughs> maybe i'll talk about that sometime when i have <laughs> enough knowledge on it because for now i don't think i do <laughs> i'll talk about it later like after you know i'm married and um i've been through it and everything <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. And God bless you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.